Let's go to uh, Nancy Pelosi saying this. I, wa- I want to compare and contrast. Now, here is Nancy Pelosi saying that all Democrats wanted economic stabilizers. What this is, and we've talked about this many times on the program, uh, economic stabilizer basically says these programs will stay in effect until we hit certain benchmarks or in the event that certain I don't know, unfavorable benchmarks are hit, these things will automatically kick in. So the idea is that you don't have to go back. You're not tying, you're not saying like, oh, we're going to provide unemployment for six months for some random number of, you know, like six months is completely random. It's not, it should be. We're going to provide this amount of unemployment while unemployment is still above, I don't know, 3% or 2%. 1%, 0%, whatever it is. But six months, the virus doesn't care. The depression doesn't care. The recession doesn't care about time. We want to know certain benchmarks. That's what uh, automatic stabilizers are. But like we talked about with Nathan Tankus, for some reason, akin to sort of like believing in, I don't know, the, you know, the, the boogeyman, uh, Nancy Pelosi has a fear of a certain number. We don't know what number it is now in terms of the CBO scoring. So we couldn't put that in the messaging bill. Play this clip. The word stabilizer. Concerns from the progressives. Yeah. Well, we're, we're okay with that. But in terms of the stabilizers, and that wasn't just the progressives, that's across the board in our caucus, including in the Speaker's office. I'm a big supporter of having stabilizers in the bill. Uh, for those of you, stabilizer would be something where you might have in the bill something that says, if by January uh, the, uh, the uh, unemployment rate is... Seven percent or higher, we would automatically have twenty six weeks of uh, of unemployment checks, which is something that is really standard fare. But say you put that in the bill, uh, I thought that would be a very wise thing to do. Same thing with FMAP, same thing with SNAP, and the rest. However, uh, what I, I know many years an appropriator and, and in leadership did not realize because we have never s- spoken in these big terms before. Uh, is that if you have a stabilizer in it, that something will happen next January, and then you'll have $400, $500 billion worth of, of unemployment checks going out. It counts in the bill today. It counts in the bill today. Why would it? It doesn't happen. In, uh, it might not ever happen. God willing, we won't have that high unemployment rate, but we might. But the CBO... If you say people are still hungry by such and such, we want to double SNAP after the first of the year, they count it today. Now, SNAP is a much smaller program, so it's maybe you can absorb it, maybe not. But four or five hundred billion dollars, you can. So we were disappointed. So we want to look and see what our legislative, um, constitutional and other prerogatives might be to give us more uh, latitude to prepare, even though not spend in the moment, but not have it count in the moment. But I was, I, I myself was uh, disappointed to learn that we, we just couldn't go to that place. But I'm, but we want, I wanted to put hortatory language to say, let us declare that we are prepared, should certain things, and they said, that's a stabilizer. So they couldn't do that. But I do think that everybody should know uh, that uh, uh, the actions taken by Congress are predicated on the needs of the American people. And should there be a reason later to do that, we will be there. And we want to herald that and give that signal. I, I want people to fully understand how bizarre this is. The idea, okay, so the CBO is going to actually include that as spending in the bill, even though it's conditioned upon things still being bad. So the natural question is like, so what? And it's because for some reason, Nancy Pelosi believes that if we put out a bill that says we're spending $4 trillion, remember, none of this is going to happen. This is a messaging bill. 
you know, it's going to put pressure maybe on the Republicans and it's going to be something to define that the Democrats use as a bludgeon. But but in her mind, if the message is we're spending four trillion dollars as opposed to three trillion dollars, that's a liability. I mean, is there I mean, just like. They started with the number. Three trillion and then work backwards. Because three trillion was more than two trillion, but it's less than four trillion. This is how myopic and ossified Nancy Pelosi's thinking is about this. This is a messaging bill. And she is worried about sending the wrong message to imaginary people who have imaginary concerns about what is an imaginary number is going to be spent. It is, this is like, I, I, this is like, uh, you know, playtime uh, during nursery school. Like, th this is all fan, this is all fantastical. And the, uh, sorry, we couldn't guarantee that we're going to extend food stamps. Sorry, we couldn't guarantee that we're going to extend um, uh, unemployment insurance in the event that it's desperately needed because. We didn't want to say $3.6 trillion. We want to say $3 trillion. This yeah, is they, just. They wanted it, to, though, and everyone knows it's the thought that counts. It's the thought that counts about the thought that we were talking about, right? Because this bill is not going to pass in the Senate. It's just going to put pressure on. It's just absurd. It's just absurd. Now, they did include a moratorium on the removal of the salt deduction tax uh, deduction to help rich people. Now, you could have had some savings there in this imaginary bill, but no. If you were so concerned about this number, but it literally is like we passed a $2 trillion bill. So we're going to do a $3 trillion. We're going to show that we want to do more, but not $3.6 trillion, but that's too much. This is just bizarre. It's an okay. abdication of leadership. And it is a just blaming the CBO. It's ridiculous. It's unbelievable. Really what she should have said is, I never knew this, but the CBO uh, would score this way. And I, I am just, I can't fight it. You can't fight the number. All right. So it's atrocious. I am looking forward to the uh, chopped and screwed trap version of this, though, where Nancy just says stabilizers over and over again. Stabilizers. 